Hello everyone and welcome back to the second part of the tutorial on how you can use dynamic engines on FME server to help with unpredictable spikes in demand. In the previous video, we went through this. In this first video, one of our tech experts, Holly, is gonna walk through a workspace in FME desktop that queries the FME server metrics endpoint, checks if any queues need more engine capacity based on a specified watermark level, and in cases where the queues are overloaded, it will assign dynamic engines to these queues. Thank you, past Charles. In this part, Holly is gonna demonstrate how once the workspace has been published to FME server, it can be configured within an automation to constantly check for FME server load. Once everything's set up, Holly is gonna use an automation to submit almost 1,000 jobs to FME server so you can see the dynamic engines reassignment in action. If you haven't seen the other videos in our dynamic engines video series, you can check them in the description box below. Now let's get to it. Let's start by taking a look at our engines and licensing page and you'll see that I am using a trial license and as of 2020.1 we have included 100 hours of dynamic engine credits with these evaluation licenses. I can see that I currently have 10 dynamic engines up and running on my FME server. Currently, they are all assigned to my Dynamic Engines home queue, and there are no repositories assigned to this queue because I don't want these engines to be used for anything other than to relieve my other queue workload. For this demonstration, the queues that I will be monitoring are the Block and County queue. Currently, neither of these have any engines. However, I am going to submit a series of jobs to these so we'll see as the queue increases, it hits our watermark level and dynamic engines will be reassigned to help start to process these jobs. In this demo, we'll be using two automations. In order to reassign engines, we first must set up our queue monitoring workspace to run on a regular basis, constantly checking on the state of these queues. Therefore, our first automation is to configure this workspace on a schedule. This schedule is set to run every 7 seconds and will trigger a workspace that queries the metric endpoint and will assign engines as needed. We've also optionally configured an external notification, in our case a Slack message, in the instance this job fails, to let our FME server administrator know there is our fault in our reassignment system. The second automation that we have configured is going to be used to simulate a peak workload on FME server to the county and block queues. Here we are going to use a schedule to kickstart the process. Our first job is going to process the state of California and break it down into the counties. Using the automations writer, we can then output a feature for each county to trigger further jobs for processing. And then we further divided these counties into blocks. So overall, this automation is going to trigger 960 jobs in total, 60 for the counties and a further 900 for the blocks. These run workspace actions have been assigned to the county and block queues respectively. So when we run this, we'll see our dynamic engines move over to the county queue first and then to the block queue to run these jobs. Now let's go ahead and trigger this schedule and see what happens. If we return to our engines page, now we should see all the engines are assigned to the county queue as well as their home queue. And eventually we'll see this county queue is removed once all of those jobs have been processed and the county queue count returns to zero. We'll then see that engines will start to process the block queued jobs. And since we have 10 dynamic engines, we'll see numerous jobs are able to run in parallel. And once this is complete, the block queues will also be removed from our dynamic engines and will return to the state that we started in. There we go. We successfully set up dynamic engines so they can automatically jump in and assist an FME server queue when it's overloaded. Thanks for tuning in. To get started with dynamic engines, download a free trial of FME server. And as of build 20504, receive 100 free hours of dynamic engine credits. If you want to add credits to your existing FME instance, reach out to sales at safe.com. See you in the next one.